लम्ब सम और इम्प्लॉयर असिस्टेंस वट शुड यू चूज इफ यू आर कंफ्यूज लेट्स डिस्कस दिस इन डिटेल beautiful people welcome back to this cape plans i hope you all are doing well so uh, as you know we will be discussing lump sum and employer assistance in this vlog but before getting into the vlog i'll just give you a little bit information about these two so when you move to uh, any different country you get this two option from your employer uh, no matter you're moving with big four amazon or microsoft almost the policy is same for all the organizations so they will give you these two or options where you can choose the lump sum where you get a um, amount which company will uh, transfer it into your bank account and then uh, you will use it while you're locating to different uh, country the other option is to take the assistance where uh, your employer will take care of everything uh, in the time when you will be relocating to any different country uh sometimes it is confusing because the lump sum amount is quite big and fascinating so in this vlog uh, we will be discussing that what is the benefit when you take the employer assistance and what happens when you take the lump sum one of my friends she just got shifted to luxembourg and she took the uh, employer assistance and we took the lump sum so with what we are going to do in this vlog we will discuss this with her what all benefit Uh, she got when she took the uh, employer assistance and i hope in the end of this vlog it will help you to choose better option for you okay so we will be meeting her at her house which is in kirchburg and now i am going to get ready and then we'll leave for her house so see you there now okay so we have reached we just got down from the tram so this is amazon office that is kpmg and these side the houses which you see you get when you opt for assistance mostly rented to uh, amazon uh, by amazon actually it just a walking distance from office so this is amazon office so we are in kirchberg and mostly offices in luxembourg are in kirchberg amazon kpmg ey all the big four companies are in kirchberg okay so this lane you see the entire road so this entire lane is for amazon this is amazon uh, 12 15 18 20 they have all the offices at this side so even if you go right or left that's only amazon so i'll show you now my friend's house and we have reached so the balcony you are seeing seeing right now that is my friend's house now we'll get in You know what? This is first time when I get to ask this question because I get a lot of questions that how is Luxembourg and how is it treating you? Now I ask this question to you. How do you feel? It's been a while since you shifted to Luxembourg. Yes. So it's been almost a month, and uh, trust me, it is one of the most beautiful places that I have been. And uh, if anyone who is like. with love with scenic places and uh, everywhere it is just beauty and uh, yes when we came we, it was uh, almost reaching 30 degrees so we have never thought that europe's would be 30 degrees yes, yeah but after 10 days that uh, the weather changed so now as of now if i'm talking about today it is uh, every night it is reaching almost every day 10 to 12 degrees yeah and uh, which makes the weather really really very pleasant yeah so in short i am just loving it uh but yes uh, 
initially it will take a little time for each and every one of us to settle down yeah. because uh, we are living our uh, home country and uh, settling into in another country yeah that is yes. yeah and you know uh, it feels good sometimes and sometimes i also get surprised like the daylight when first time we experienced this daylight change Correct. suddenly it was 10 11 and uh, it was never uh, oh, yes. evening and it was never dark and nowadays at 7 7:30 you will see the sunset yes so i was uh, when you talked about this let me tell you i was very shocked when i came for the first uh, 10 15 days uh, it used to get dark by 9:45 10 o'clock i have never seen this i have yes definitely heard about it but i have never seen this and uh, so soon i'm waiting uh, again to see that it is going to get dark by 3 3:34 yeah, yeah. like people say so yes it is a different thing which uh, it it is good to see yeah yes. but so bhumi is liking luxembourg and as i have told that it's a beautiful country and you know what even if you're not planning to visit this country soon but you can plan a visit anytime in summers okay so with that now we are getting into the vlog and we are going to discuss the major points and the questions which you have sent to us so let's start with question number 1 So as we all know, whenever we move to any different country, we get two options. Number one is you can take lump sum, which is very fascinating. And option two is you can get the assistance from your employer. We took the lump sum, but with that we also got assistance, like we got the flight booking done, and our hotel was also booked from our employer. And apart from that, whatever expenses we made mm-hmm. during the tra- travel. and in fact after reaching luxembourg the taxi we uh, took and everything was covered by our uh, uh, employer along with you know lump sum so uh, i just want to know what was your experience and how it works when you take the assistance from your employer so this is a very good question i guess uh, many of them who is planning to shift to any of the places and especially when you are talking about luxembourg would be having this uh, mess in their mind we also had it because uh, what our employer was providing us the lump sum always looks very very lucrative it's very fascinating very fascinating yeah. yes and then we compared okay i i don't know whether i'm using a right word comparison but we did it okay yeah, yeah got it okay so in that what we found is we got an uh, ticket for uh, both of us me and my spouse uh we got an accommodation for uh, almost 30 to 45 days uh we they, the employee is providing us with the agent uh, and they are providing us with uh, a car for 30 days which is really lucrative see initially we think we think that uh, it is very easy that will manage everything but managing in a totally different country all by yourself when you are already homesick is a little bit difficult what i presume but uh, for us us it was a little easy because everything was provided by the employer and uh, as uh, you can see the house it's really really very good and uh, it just staying in this house for 30 to 45 days is not at all a problem and uh, they are also uh, assisting us with an agent who is helping us finding a house also so uh, so yes. apart from the you know assistance of, of course you got mm. everything which we got in fact mm. more than that because you yes. took that assistance yes. but apart from that uh, there was like we took the lump sum yes. and with us that assistance did you get like uh, yes we extra? also got a little amount okay yes oh, it was almost about over one third of the amount that is provided in the lump sum so that always uh, varies from uh, the designation the level and uh, from which location or all such things it uh, it varies from all these things uh, it is different for okay. each and every people okay yeah. okay so basically when you take the lump sum you get the amount with that you get your flight ticket booked and uh, your hotel booked from your employer but when you take the assistance you get everything and uh, and along with that you also get some amount which differs uh, designation to designation and maybe location to location okay so my next question is related to luggage and i get a lot of it because you know people like us who are taking lump sum uh, they are always confused what to carry what not to carry because there is limitation by the airline 
and uh, let's say some airline allows you to carry two luggage some allows you to one sometimes employer helps you with one excess baggage or two excess baggage so there are limitation and accordingly we have to choose and that is one reason that we also got some basic stuff from our house so how was uh, your case and what was different so this is again a very very good question priyanka uh, see whenever we are traveling from our hometown home country okay luggage is the first thing that anybody will be thinking right because that helps us to settle down in any of an unknown country unknown place so we had also thought about it and uh, uh, this was the main reason for us selecting an assisted move because uh, we were provided uh, with uh, many options one of them was uh, they provided us with uh, excess uh, baggage uh, that again depends upon employer to employer and uh, uh, the people also must check about the airlines that they select okay and uh, the second is uh, they provided us with air shipment they provided us with uh, sea shipment so the air shipment is where there is some limitation i guess it is up to some eight or nine boxes but which are very very huge and which you will get in uh, like three to four weeks and uh, the sea shipment it is n number of luggage you can send uh, n number means you can even send your vehicle along with it okay oh. yes and uh, that you can get it in uh, five to six weeks so this again was very very good option for us and uh, if you want your entire furniture your all the luggage your comfort zone to travel along with you uh, so like you can actually yes. move your uh, um, complete house correct. with you correct okay so when you take the assistance you can carry everything apart from the electronic items so like your tv fridge you might not be able to carry apart from that you can move all your furnitures with you and like we just got the basic items but with assistance you can move your entire anything, house anything yeah. now with that let's move to the next question finding a house in luxembourg is a task it is a huge huge task and why i'm saying that uh, when we had to you know shift to luxembourg we had to find agent on our own and then you also have to make sure whatever agent you are uh, contacting is trustworthy is genuine because you pay a decent amount to the agent as well so we had to pay agency fee after that rent and all which i will discuss in my next point but my question to you is like we paid agency fee we had to actually get the agent also on our own how was your experience was it different so in this case yes as you told finding a house is the biggest task over here okay yeah, yeah. but uh, the only difference between uh, the assisted and uh, other uh, this thing is uh, you yourself had to find an agent right uh, we are assisted with the agent oh yes okay. but again we also have to pay the agency fee so oh. it is not free for uh, the assisted move people uh yes so you are also paying guys so you are also paying we are also paying but the only difference is that we are assisted with a trusted agent okay. by our employer so okay. again we have heard that there are many scams scamsters or uh, they are not genuine or they just take away the money or like we have heard this okay i am not sure up to what extent all this thing is right i can't believe this yes yeah. but uh, again when we have been assisted by the employer then uh, definitely we are you have somebody rest who you assured. can trust yeah, yes yes right. we are rest assured about that thing yes okay so the point is uh, if you are finding agent on your own you have to pay the agency fee even if your employer is providing you with an agent you are getting somebody who you can rely on and that person will be finding house for you but end of the day you also need to pay the agency fee and also there is no discount you will pay the exact same amount uh, the other person will be paying yes okay so with that moving to my next question so after reaching here in luxembourg we got assisted with a hotel for two days our hotel was taken care of by our employer and within two days we had to find our uh, apartment it could be permanent or temporary but of course we could not find a permanent apartment so we shifted to a temporary apartment we had to wait for a month and after that we got our uh, permanent 
though it's not very common here because it takes time to find apartment that's yes. why it is always suggested that you know you move to uh, you book an airbnb before arriving to luxembourg because yes. it will take that much time first you have to find an agent then you have to find an accommodation so it's a task but uh, how was your experience and what happens when people takes the assistance so in our case it was uh, as we had taken an assisted move so in back in india only in my hometown only we were uh, just uh, guided with uh, a few houses okay and uh, from that also we had an opportunity to select any one of those uh, considering the location uh, house like it again uh, varies from per person to person but uh, we were given that opportunity to select a house that whatever we like and uh, once we land over here we directly get the keys of the house where we have to stay for 30 to 45 days wow yes so again for us it was not at our task and uh, so 30 to 45 days are i guess quite enough time to find a permanent accommodation for yourself right right yeah okay so the only difference is when you take the lump sum you get the hotel booked for 2 days by your employer and after that you have to find agent and house on your own and when you take the assistance you get the house uh, right after you arrive in luxembourg and i'm sure you would like to see the house uh, which your employer provides you bhumi has gotten it and i would request you if you could just show us around sure sure come please so we can start with the balcony first please uh, come we have got a huge balcony starting from there and this is the other part uh normally basically with all the balconies they provide some settings also like a table two chairs this come in this is the living room so every fitted furniture that you are seeing is provided by uh, the company sofa table dining table full furnished yes this is the kitchen then this side living room it's tv everything has been provided by them i'll just show you a little more about the kitchen all these were provided by them basic everything that you need to cook for day to day purpose they provided this over here we have got a dishwasher also this is a garbage so over here they have provided with a small fridge otg and uh, with this all of these they have provided a microwave so bhumi has gotten the fully furnished uh, house where she can cook so you know what you save a lot of money when you get a kitchen in your temporary apartment for example generally when you are uh, coming here on your own you might be finding here when we somewhere you are allowed to cook and somewhere you are not so uh, this is a great house provided by uh, the employer and now we would like to see the two the other room please come yes okay so this way leads to And you have got washing machine also, right? Yes, washing machine has also been provided. You have got washing machine also, which is nice. And uh, this is the bedroom, which is quite big enough. These are the wardrobes, I guess, for the temporary accommodation. This is more than enough. The Bhumi, the house is amazing. Yes. But one question: Did you also get this? Or ये जला हुआ बना था या भुजा हुआ? नहीं नहीं, this is ours. and my husband is very fond of candles oh wow so every normally every evening he just lights the candles so every day is diwali for bhumi oh yes <laughs> wow thank you indians <laughs> <laughs> yeah so without a doubt you have a beautiful house which your company has assisted you with yes and you know i get a lot of questions and uh, i just wanted to cover all of that and i hope my viewers have got all the information they were looking for is there anything else which we are not aware of and we have forgotten to ask you would like to tell us please do tell uh yes so there's one very very important point so in our assisted move we were also given an option for uh, car for 30 days so it is not only they have provided of their choice 
uh, back in uh, India, they had provided us with the option for automatic or manual or uh, what sort of car you are comfortable driving with. Uh, and then we have to select it that what option you are comfortable driving the car. Yes, there's a difference. There's one difference uh, for left hand and right hand uh, back in India and Luxembourg. But uh, yes, it might not take you more than 15 to 20 minutes of time to settle down for the left hand drive and uh, again the car that has been given to us and uh, whatever we have heard from other uh, our friends also they have uh, been always providing one of the best cars uh, in a very very good condition and it is very helpful when you move definitely, to a different country definitely. you have to understand oh yes but in luxembourg it's quite easy because the transportation is free you don't have to, you don't have to hustle that much for example like when we moved and we were able to understand everything with the help of apps or when even we had to move from our uh, temporary to you know permanent apartment we were able to move our stuff yes. with a bus and with public transport so transportation is quite easy here but having this option as itself is a, a great you know thing great which company thing. yeah which will also help you yeah uh, help to you. decide in future whether you want to get a car of your own or not yeah. because in this car you can always get a hands on left and drive right. which i told is a basic difference from uh, other country okay. and uh, this country okay so if you yes. know the driving you can get a car in luxembourg with the assistance of your company but you have to know the role so maybe it will take 15 to 20 minutes to drive uh, to understand the driving uh, and uh, everything but it will take i think uh, one day to understand the rule a week a week yes. okay so it could take a week to understand the rules yes. and i would always suggest that strict. please understand the rules first and then only drive the car Carry. in luxembourg Carry. okay so uh, since we are talking about you know the car and the driving here now the next question to you is like uh, we have the license and that was in India and when we shifted uh, I don't know if it works here and how are you managing did you guys did you guys get your uh, driving license converted there only like how it works uh, here in Luxembourg so our uh, personal driving license like which is which we were using back in India so that is valid over here for almost a year Oh, that's great. Yes. So your driving mm. license uh, is valid in Luxembourg for one year as well. So if you are holding a driving license in India, that is valid in Luxembourg also for one year. Yes. Thank you so much. This is very informative for the people who can drive. And of course, uh, even when you go out, you can take, you know, rent a car and you can drive around. So it's, a, it's very helpful. Okay, so Priyanka, I uh, forgot to mention one more thing. Uh, which you should know definitely so along with our stay which is given by our employer uh, they have also provided us uh, with the house help over here in Europe which is very very house rare house to find help. yes yeah. because over here uh, I guess everyone of uh, you I, would I be aware do it, I do it by yes. myself and yes. here mostly houses are white and yes. I know how much it takes to clean. Oh, yes. So, you Very getting a house help. Uh, actually, we also got it when we got the temporary apartment. And mm -hmm. every day she used to come, she used to clean, she used to do the utensils. Everything was taken care of. And when we moved to a permanent apartment, I had to do it on my, uh, on my own. So, it's great to have house help. Yes, but yes. be ready to do some, you know. Uh, Once we get our own house. Yes, yes, yes. So Get getting it. a house help is a plus, guys. And if you it's get a that, definitely a help. Yeah, yes. it, it is. It is it very is. helpful. And initially, when you shift, you have 100 things, other oh, things yes. to do, documentation oh, yes. and all. So, of course, it's a great help. Okay. So, that was a nice information. Yes. Thank you so much, Bhumi. You have given us the most important piece of information because many people out there yes. who are confused and lump sum looks very fascinating you get the huge amount of course everything has a pros and cons and with that in the current scenario since you are here now and you yourself can see that you have not gotten the permanent accommodation yet your agent is still searching yes. and you are fortunate enough that you have gotten the 
uh, your stay to be extended for 15 days but we all are not that fortunate in the given scenario in the current scenario people sh- what do you think people should go for lump sum or they should opt for the assistance so that is again uh, depends on uh, person to person like uh, if anyone is traveling along with their family then uh, it is very very difficult to survive in initial days right but uh, yes if again you are traveling alone uh, then i would advise to take a lump sum because mm. uh, it is again very lucrative but uh, yes family and along with any uh, any of the pets also uh, there it's is quite difficult yes quite difficult correct yeah so uh, i would say that if you are traveling alone you can opt for lump sum but if you are traveling with your children with your pet nowadays i think the footfall has increased maybe that is one reason oh my god don't tell me like when we were searching like we were thinking about whether to take lump sum or this thing at that time uh, the scenario was different but yes now it has uh, changed a lot because uh, i am just talking about the houses that uh, the demand has increased Uh, very high very very, high. very good extent and uh, the supply is not that much, not that much. yes that is because luxembourg is a small country yes. and it has like limited lands Correct. and uh, football has a lot like of people are uh, arriving yes shifting yeah. over here yes. so uh, nowadays i would suggest taking uh, an assistance would be a great option because mm. uh, you're a- you have an agent you have employer who's assisting you you have somebody who who you can go and cry i would say yes. <laughs> but if you are here on your own then you need to take care of yourself your house and everything so in the current sen- scenario assistance is a good option but again i'm leaving this to you guys it's your decision you have both the options please do your own research and decide accordingly तो so, बहुत सारे इन्फॉर्मेशन हो गई है अब थोड़ा खाना भी हो जाए 9:30 हो गया है लग्जमबर्ग में इंडियन फूड तो मिलता है पर घर का खाना बहुत कम मिलता है और जब आपके पास हो इतनी अच्छी दोस्त जो आपको सर्व करे इंडियन खाना विच इज कढ़ी एंड राइस लाइक प्रॉपर देसी खाना जो अब मैं खाने वाली हूँ सो आई होप यू गॉट द पीस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन यू वर लुकिंग फॉर Thank you for watching. Namaste.